Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, in which- Hey, there's a house over there! In which we go carefully around this desert, because I do not want to fight more... Harpies. Air quotes. Uh, incidentally... So, uh, one thing worth mentioning about the Harpy is there are some choke float tracks around Coral. And... You can fight harpies by battling chocobos on those tracks, if you're so inclined. I obviously was not, because I was pretty sure it would have killed me, and based on my experience just now, I think that was an accurate assessment. Uh, but yeah, if you take your, put on your chocobo lure and go and fight, cho fight some chocobos, you can fight a harpy that way. Just something to keep in mind if you are a much higher level than me. I'll, now, I've just realized that I forgot to change it to Aerith, so I'm going to do that right, uh, right now. So I'll see you in a minute with a whole new party member! Oh hey, and a Sahara Nut. And we're back. That did not take long. Which is good! Not that you, I mean, not that you would know one way or the other, but I assure you it didn't take long. So, we could go straight over there to that suspicious looking place, but I think I'm going to go to this suspicious looking place instead. Because, well, it's here. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay then. Okay then. Back to... Back to this one, I suppose. Dismount, and enter. Is someone here? I don't- Oh, it's the Turks! <laughs> what have we walked in on? Okay. Very interesting. What? What? What is with this gossip talk? Okay, so for those keeping score, Rude likes Tifa, Elena likes Sung, and Sung likes Aerith. Although, that last one is a little bit questionable, since I'm pretty sure Sung has pro- He has at least, well, I mean, if, if he's in his 20s, like I think, well, I mean, late 20s, early 30s, around there. He's at least eight years older than Aerith, I, I would want to say. Oh, hey, it's Elena. Aha. Uh -huh. Okie dokie. Mm hmm I think it's possible to actually just not fight these guys here. But come on, we want to fight the Turks. Kick their asses! Wow, okay, those are totally flat. Like, blatantly so. By the way, we have Tifa. Check it out. Uh, let, let's just hit him. And also, let's use... You know, we got Aqualung. Let's use Aqualung. I gave Tifa all of Aerith's setup, which will actually probably be a lot worse on Tifa than it was on Aerith. Because Aerith is pretty much built for casting, and Tifa is not. Yeah, I did not even try. Uh, oh, hey, I don't need to manipulate it anymore. I can swap it out for something, you know, useful. Yeah, do that before before they kill Tifa, please. I think you only need to kill one of them in this fight, but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on that. I, I guess we'll see. You know, let's use Aqualung some more, because that that worked out pretty well last time. So, in fact, no, let's not double use double Aqualung. One Aqualung is enough. I'm totally gonna summon Rama though. Rama's awesome.
By the way, I think I forgot to mention this. What when restores HP and recovers status alignments? Which is import an important distinction to make, because it does different things in different games. In more than one game, it'll heal you based on the current HP of the user. Okay, well, I definitely killed at least one of them, so... <laughs> he just checks his watch and walks off. Rude is the best Turk. Just... Anyone who says otherwise does not know what they're talking about. <laughs> Fairy tale? What the hell is this? I guess we'll have to look. Hmm. May. Wait. So there might be a spy in the group. It's Yuffie, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Sh if there's any spy, it's definitely her. She is all spy like. Um, so what is that fairy tale thing? It, what? I don't, I don't see. Oh, it's a weapon for Aerith, of course it is. Okay. Well, I guess it remains to be seen whether that gets any use. Okay, can you sort things by like, there? And then by battle. I, w I wish I could set it to do this one all the time, and then this one. That would be so much better. The, the sorting leaves something to be desired in this game. Uh, I still manipulated and equipped it, I forgot to remove that. Uh, okay, that appears to be a giant... It's a giant bug. It's, it's a really weird bug, though. It's like, part... Grasshopper, part wasp, part praying mantis, and there's this weird thing on his head. I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's actually. Okay, actually hit it. I really do need to practice that more because as she gets as she gets her later limit breaks, eventually gets to the point where you can't really hit the easier ones. Oh, hey, restore level up. Now, let's get rid of Manipulate, because it doesn't level up. Uh, I really want to put Element on, but I don't have the space for it. Let's see, so... I could throw on Cover, I guess. I could just throw this on to level it up, but that seems kind of ick. Let's see, I have one of each of these equipped, so... Transform is garbage. Not that this is any better. Right. Well, I'm not going to use this, but I do want to level it up eventually, and it does give me a vitality bonus, so we'll go with that. Oh, hey! What is this? Okay, well, it's general related if the music tells me anything. Oh, it's a reactor that presumably exploded. I don't know. Was this an implosion or an explosion? I mean, it was definitely a explosion. So... Wait, she's, she's the head of weapon development? I thought that was the... Shinra, you need to get your priorities right. You have a head of weapons development and a head of your military, but you don't have a head of freaking reactors! Which is your whole damn business? You're an energy company! Oi. What's that about ju junky materia? You're saying there's... Okay. Huge materia, you say. That's... <laughs> She says that, but she's just as incompetent as Hedgar. Um... I mean, it's kind of sad to say this, but the Turks... <coughs> need drink. But the Turks are probably among the most competent 
of Shinra's, like, higher-ups, and they aren't even really higher-ups. They're, like, they're certainly elites, but they're, like, elite grunts. They're super di dispendable. What indeed? But hey, whatever they're up to, I know what I'm up to. Taking the material that's in the reactor. Wait, no! 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 Ooh! Titan! It's, it, it's another summon. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is... You know, I'm gonna give enemy skill to... No, I'm gonna give revive to you. Uh, excuse me, revive to Yuffie, and Titan to Tifa. Uh, let's do it this way, though, because Chocobo Mog does not need the double XP... AP? Doesn't need double AP as much. And dump throw for revive. Also, swords. Or at least materia sorting works. Oh, hey, also, there's monsters. Of course. Okay, um... You, you say heavy tank. I say bipedal... Triceratop cyborg tank? Man, that's too many halves. That's, that's just too many halves. Heal, please. Oh hey, I have a new summon! I should use it! Just a phoenix down, that's lame. I summon the power of Titan! Uh, actually, something to keep in mind with Titan. This guy... He... He is Earth Element. He will not hit anything that flies. Even if it looks like he should hit it, even if it does really stupid looking um, texture things, it doesn't matter. He won't hit anything that is not touching the ground. Also, that used like all of Tifa's uh, MP. How much? How much did Titan cost? I was not paying really paying attention when I used it. Maybe it should have been. Maybe. But anyway, we want to... I think if you run left or right here, you can actually run straight onto the little map. But no. Okay. So anyway. Now that we've gone right, we should go left. Because there is... Wait, what? Where, where the hell am I? Not another one of you guys. You were just lame. I mean, at least the at least the dinosaur tank had like the the insanity factor going for it. And also you just inflict a stop on Tifa. That is not cool, dude. Not cool. Okay, now they've done it to Cloud as well. Yep, that that that's interesting. Just, can we, like, can you guys, like, finish being stopped because, okay, well, you just did that to Tifa again, but you're dead now, so, you know, take that. I have sort of been neglecting Tifa a little bit. Hmm. Well, she's here now, I suppose. Here we go, it's a town. The reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Three years, Deska. Yep, that's the reactor, all right. Yeah, I know. We, we, we went there first. Hello, Weepon Shop. Oh, accessories, I guess. Sleep. Darkness, poison, spirit, fro oh. I have one of these? Okay. 
I need to throw the Berserk Ring. What the hell is Mystify? I know what time is, but I want time. That's a good one. Uh, the rest of the stuff I don't really care about. Although, since I did remember it, I very much want, um... I'm gonna need someone with, with, uh, this quite, quite soon. Okay, uh, I got time materia. And also, confused, okay, well that's kind of lame. This, though! The power of haste! And other things I don't care about. Mo uh, mostly haste. Throw that on there, throw that down here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the bolt ring, because why not? Um, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Oh wait, I actually want to ask about the thing as w I can climb up here? There's a person up here! Do you sell Weebons? You do. But I own them all. Well, yes, I own all of them. Not all of them are equipped, but you know, this is the stuff from the from freaking Juon. This is old news. Okay, so. It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find the pieces of it left all over town. People can live without Shinra's Mako reactors. No kidding. Some of these houses are like seriously dilapidated as well. Yes, actually. 80 gil. I paid like 100 in Juan, I think. So. Wait, no. Where did I pay? I know I paid 100 somewhere. In any case, 80 gil is reasonable, is what I'm saying. One day, a huge explosion killed many people in. Uh, many of the town's people. First of all, I cannot speak. Second of all, I feel like there should not be a period there. Okay, next. Oh, hey, great. It's a weep on for Kate C. Oh, you know what? I should have brought Aerith here. Shit, I screwed up. This is Gon Gaga Village. Many people died here in a macro reactor explosion. If you bring air, okay. So, I've decided I'm not going to show this. So do this on your own time, because it's really cool. If you bring Aerith here, you get a special scene with I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Maybe not. It might be someone else in the village, but I'm pretty sure it's this guy. So, yeah, don't do what I did. Bring Aerith to Gon Gaga Village. The first time you come here, because you will see something cool. And sort of character developing. But not but not essential. Okay, item store? Item store. It's been a while since the explosion. But no, someone already told me that. Uh I'm gonna need some of these. And, last house. Oh, this is, okay, no. This one is where you need to bring, you should bring Aerith. Like, seriously. Oh. Zack. The soldier. It's been close to ten years since he left for that city. Saying that he didn't want to live in the country, it sounds familiar. He left saying he's going to join the soldier. Ever hear of a soul of a Zack there? Hmm. Six or seven years ago, saying he had a girlfriend. It was not Tifa. However, 
Do you remember when Aerith met Cloud? <laughs> well, I'm gonna spoil this for you. This is why you want to bring Aerith here. Aerith was totally Zack's girlfriend. That is to say, Zack was totally Aerith's boyfriend. So, you know, that's... she can sort of shed some light onto that. But why is Tiffa all upset? Do you... No? Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> it totally did sound just like Cloud. Okay, so what I'm getting here is the optimal party to bring here is probably Tifa and Aerith. But I'm gonna but I showed you the part with Tifa, so definitely bring Aerith. On your own. It is worth totally worth seeing. Just, you know, I'm not gonna show it. That that's kinda bad. Oh well. But not uh, really that big a deal. Uh... No, there's no th hidden third option. Disappointed. I mean, did you did you really work hard for it? I'm not convinced. But I'm not, but I think it's not really fair to say you got lucky either. <laughs> you are here after all. Hard work definitely helps, but there's probably some luck involved as well. Seriously, can I, uh... Oh, right, I already talked to you, didn't I? Okay, then! We're... Oh, there's materia there! I almost missed that. Is this a... Okay. I'm not gonna do anything to this bastard. And it is a bastard. You'll see. You will see. Uh, yeah. It does that! Now I can't do it- basically can't do anything except attack, use items, and cast frog and- Well, actually, no. There's three spells you can cast as a frog. You can cast toad to turn people into frogs or to cure yourself. You can cast... Frog Song, which is an enemy skill, which... Totifies you, puts you to sleep, and possibly cast mini as well. Uh, and which is gonna make this battle take a while because I needed to use Frog Song on both Tifa and Cloud. But Tifa's immune to it! Ha! Ah! But but she's not immune to sleep. So Cloud, uh, wake her up. Fortunately, you're a frog, so you don't hit very hard. Okay, now I still need it to you use it on Cloud. Uh, and fortuitously, you you didn't no no that's Tifa. Now fortuitously, the thing with Toad is, if you cast Toad on a Toad, it'll untoad it. I don't know if it works on these Toads, but it works on you. I mean. If I kill it by slapping it with frogs, I feel... I, I'll feel fairly vindicated. You're gonna use Frog Song on you if you gain, aren't you? Uh, sigh. I don't know. I got sort of lucky in a way, because there's only one of them. There is a battle set where you can fight, like, five of these at once. Which is just constantly toting and untoting people. It can- which can actually be pretty annoying. This is- I would have gotten fro Frog Song on both my enemy skills a little faster that way, but it would have been uh, pretty damn annoying as well. I do love the sound effect when you hit people as a frog, though. Like, is there that one- wait. Is that one is strong? It's gr it's, it's just great. Okay, well, Cloud is full size now, but still does not have Frog Song. You know what you must do, Frog. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got it. Let 
Let's kill the frog now. And they're stuck as frogs. They don't have frog portraits, though. Unfortunately. Oh, wait, no. Frog doesn't persist? I thought frog was actually something that persisted out of battle. Okay, I guess not. Death blow. Okay, that is going to be imp really useful later on. But it's very not useful right now. Uh, death blow is... Well, I guess that's the D blow. Basically, Death Blow does, I want to say, I, I want to say it does double damage, but it has half accuracy, which is, you know, pretty straightforward. But it's going to be really useful later on when, well, first of all, when we don't want to, when we want to store up limit breaks, it's useful for that. And second of all, when we get, start getting weapons with perfect accuracy. Because they will hit whether you have your accuracy cut in half or not. Uh, anyway, we're gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we explore deeper into this con this strange new world, which is not really strange or new. Uh, also, it's really more of a continent than a world. Well, I mean, we are on a world, but I mean, you know, you know, I've just completely overanalyzed this whole saying. I digress. Until next time, this has been Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Bye! <laughs>